506, a rare occurrence will dazzle the sky tomorrow morning. It's called an annular solar eclipse, and in parts of the country, it's going to look, look, look like a ring of fire. So cue the Johnny Cash. Only this morning, Jamie Warren is speaking with NASA experts about where you'll be able to see it best here in Arizona. Hey, Jamie. Hey, good morning, guys, and I'm kind of a space geek myself, so I'm excited about this. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to wake up in the dark of night to view it. It's going to be available for viewing in the morning hours. You can see it from here in Phoenix. We want to make sure that you're being safe, though, and you're wearing some safety glasses when you do so. But you can really just step outside of your house and be able to see it. So you don't even have to go anywhere special. And we have some images of what exactly this is gonna look like. So what you will be able to see is the moon almost completely cover the sun, creating a fiery orange ring around the moon's shadow, kind of like a ring of fire. And weather permitting, this will cross the sky fully in Oregon, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas. But here in Arizona, we will be able to also see it partially. So 80% covered, it'll look like someone took a big cookie bite out of the sun. Now, solar eclipses happen all across the world several times a year, but they rarely happen in North America. In Phoenix, you can see it starting at 8.10 in the morning until 11.01 with the peak at 9.30. Now, of course, you need to be safe. Don't look up and unless you're wearing those special eclipse glasses, which We've been talking about this throughout the morning. You can find some between 10 cents to a dollar at stores like Walmart, Home Depot, even Circle K. And I spoke with Patrick Kane this morning at NASA about just how surreal this moment is going to be. The lighting goes down a bit. Everything softens. Uh, birds and animals think it's time to go to bed. Uh, you'll actually hear bird song change. It's, it's a moment in time where you are able to witness the celestial dance uh, with uh, you know, millions or, or more of your closest friends. Now, the eclipse is not considered a spectacle for everyone. It is important to note for certain tribes and indigenous communities here in Arizona, solar eclipses are actually thought of to be a bad omen. And instead of going outside to look at it, they stay home, they reflect, and they pray during this intimate celestial moment. NASA astronomers, on the other hand, they're using this time to do some research and learn a little bit more about how our solar system works. But regardless, this is a rare occurrence specifically for us here in Arizona. The next time you'll be able to see this partial eclipse won't be until uh, another 10 years. There is going to be a total solar eclipse happening next year in April, uh, so you won't want to miss that. But if you do, just mark this all down on your calendar uh, and, and make sure that you have the opportunity to experience something like this. You remember the last um, total solar eclipse back in 2017? That was a pretty big deal then as well. Yeah, that one was that one was such a big deal all across the country. Yeah, that was epic. Yeah. Even more than Bonnie Tyler's total eclipse oh, of her total, heart. Yeah, total eclipse. Of <laughs> <the> total eclipse. <laughs> a different kind of total Nothing eclipse. Nothing beats that eclipse. Okay. We love this, so, Jamie. Great little science lesson for us, and we, we can't wait to see yeah, it safely, Jamie. of course.